Johnny Talk Sports Trick, my three picks for July 24th, 2020. Now, let me just say this before I get to my picks for today. I don't think this is going to be an everyday thing. In fact, I would say this is about a 99% chance that this will not be an everyday thing. This could be maybe a once a week thing. It could be maybe once every couple of days thing. Maybe once, maybe a couple weeks pass. Maybe we can do maybe two pick days in a row. But I'm almost certain that this won't be an everyday thing. Because I'm just too busy with my personal life that I can't really sit down and go over matchups and make picks every single day. But I do have picks for today, Friday, July 24th, 2020. Opening day was a huge success. Two for two. Two picks. Both of them came through. First one, I had the under seven and a half runs scored between the Yankees and the Nationals. As much as I want to be happy about that win, I will admit that Mother Nature kind of threw me a bone for that one. Letting the rain fall down right as soon as the game could be called official with these new regular season rules. And the second one, I had the Dodgers covering the one and a half run spread over the San Francisco Giants, which was led by a huge seventh inning for the Los Angeles Dodgers, especially a big performance by Kiki Hernandez. One of the last guys I would have, I would expect to have that big performance on opening day for the Dodgers. Anyway, I've got my three picks for today, and I'm covering my picks on the board very well because I think maybe yesterday, maybe some of you kind of just saw the picks on the board and you just kind of saw it in an instant and you kind of just clicked away from the video. So I'm preventing that from happening today. Shout out to those that watched the whole thing yesterday. So let's get to the picks. So the three matches I'm predicting today against the spread. There's no over-unders today, just straight out spread. The Braves and the Mets, the Pirates and the Cardinals, and the Mariners and Astros. So the first pick I have, the Atlanta Braves, plus one and a half over the Mets. We've got a big showdown between Mike Soroka for the Braves and Jacob deGrom for the Mets. The last time we saw the Braves play baseball, at least in a baseball game that mattered, they were giving up 10 runs in the first inning to the Cardinals in Game 5 of the NLDS. And this Braves team, kind of like the Dodgers, this could be a team that is being talked about as maybe that second or third team that could win the NL pennant this year. I think they've got a good offense led by Ronald Acuna and Ozzy Albies. And I think that this Braves offense will figure out DeGrom in about maybe the fourth or fifth inning of this game and get to the Mets bullpen early on. Well, Mike Soroka, I think, is going to pitch a gem for the Braves. And I think this offense for the Braves will be able to get Soroka run support. I think the Braves beat the one and a half run spread over the Mets. So my second pick is the St. Louis Cardinals at minus one and a half over the Pittsburgh Pirates. We've got Jack Flaherty on the mound, their ace pitcher going against the Pirates, who I think could probably be one of those below average teams in the league. And also, I think the Cardinals are looking at probably representing the NL in the World Series this year as well. They ended up did they did get swept by the Nationals in the NLCS. Four games to none. I think the Cardinals are going to have a really good season. I think it's going to start on opening day. So my final pick, this one may be a shocker, but it may not at the same time. This one's kind of a big risk, but it could be big reward. I have the Seattle Mariners at plus one and a half over the Houston Astros. The Seattle Mariners have won six out of the last seven opening day games, but the Astros are on the mound with Justin Verlander. So this is where the risk comes involved. But I think the Mariners, at the very least, could end up losing this game by one run. And I think the Mariners, they have the potential to win this game, but I think they could fall just short. Even if they lose by one run, it's still a win. So those are my three picks. So for review, I have the Atlanta Braves at plus one and a half 
the St. Louis Cardinals minus one and a half, and the Seattle Mariners at plus one and a half. So like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.